Welcome friends, we're talking about the words that we speak, the power of those words, the power of our tongue. Um, and uh, today I want us to consider that God has made it simple in a way for us to use the power of our words and the authority. Uh, in Deuteronomy 30 verse 14, Moses speaks these words to his people. He says, but the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. So, uh, Moses is uh, helping the people know that God's instructions, God's direction, God's blessing, it has already been spoken over them. And, um, you know, that word uh, was read out to the people of God. So he's saying, you know, the word is in your mouth, uh, in your heart. The people were aware of the word of God. Uh, and so he is encouraging them since they know the word of God and it is already in their hearts and already in their mouth that they make a choice to speak words that God speaks. Words of life, words of hope, words um, that match up with the standard of God's word. Um, and so even today, friends, you know, we might wonder, how do, I, how do I use the power of these words? How do I walk in the victory um, that God has already given to me through the cross? All we need to do is speak words by faith. As we've already seen in Mark 11, 23, Jesus said, if you believe and you speak to the mountain, you know, when you speak, you don't doubt in your heart, no, those, that will be done for you. And it's as simple as that. When we carry faith in our hearts and we speak those words, you know, we, will, we will see those things come to pass. Uh, let me also uh, uh, sh talk about John chapter 15 here. You know, that's a passage where we are encouraged to keep God's word in our hearts. So in verse 7 we read, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Once again, Jesus is saying, as long as our heart is aligned to the word of God and also God's word abides in us, meaning we have a rich deposit of the word of God in our hearts, in our mind, on our uh, uh, lips, we will pray effective prayers, we will speak effective words and you know we, we will really see uh, God's power manifest in our lives. So you know, here is an invitation for us to use what we already have and it's so easy. God's word, uh, just put it in your heart, put it on your lips, begin to speak it and see the power of the word of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us such authority uh, by the words of our mouth Lord, we pray that, Lord, you will give us the grace to use each word, Lord, um, uh, with authority and power and uh, see, Lord, your kingdom come. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.